my loves. I hope you're all doing okay. I wanted to do a check-in a bit earlier this week just because I have a bit of a busy midweek. Um, I have some plans tomorrow to go to my local pottery studio and just glaze some ceramics, um, which is really fun. I really enjoy it. I think one day I want to actually go in and like make something there. I think that would be quite fun because I've been playing a lot with air dry clay um, and I really like it. I actually made a piece, a little trinket dish. Um, I also made this tea light holder. It's kind of wonky, uh, but I like it. I like it a lot. Um, and same thing goes with this. Uh, this is my teeny tiny little trinket dish. I think it's just gonna hold like some of my rings. Um, yeah, I think that works. Um, it's still not like 100% dry, I, I don't think. Um, but yeah, I made this and so this week I'm going to paint it and then glaze it. Um, this is just air dry clay. Um, yeah, I've been having a lot of fun with that, and so I think one day I will go to my local pottery studio and actually, like, make something like that. Um, something that, like, needs to be fired and try my hand at ceramics more so than, like, air dry clay. Um, but yeah, so tomorrow I'm going to do that, and then um, eventually I'm going to paint that trinket dish. I just haven't decided on a color just yet, um, but yeah. Oh, also, excuse my nails. They're really crusty. Um, I took the polish off because it was like absolutely horrid, um, and I need to repaint them, but I haven't done that yet. Um, but yeah, so then also this week I am going to see Green Day. I'm so excited. I am a big fan of 21st Century Breakdown, that album, um, which is not one of the albums they are playing, but that's okay. Um, I've been broadening my Green Day Horizons and um, I actually, I really like them. <laughs> I know I'm late to the party here and like I already had tickets to see them, but yeah. Um, so that's really exciting. I'm so pumped for it. Um, but yeah, so those are my plans for the week. Um, so lots of ceramics, lots of music. I'm so excited. Um, also, I have been keeping up with the Olympics and I'm really enjoying it. I'm having a grand old time. Um, I think I needed something to keep me busy and in the sports world um, during the off season of hockey. Uh, because I don't know if, if uh, any of you remember, but I was watching the NHL playoffs and I had a grand old time with that. And so I'm really excited for the season to start again. But in the meantime, I've been like really itching for something. And um, yeah, the Olympics it is. I'm really happy it's an Olympic year um, because I have so much time on my hands. And so I've been watching quite a few events. Uh, which leads me to skateboarding. Um, hello, that is so fun to watch. And I have been wanting to learn how to skate for years now. And I think this is finally the year. Um, so I've been doing some research. I actually um, did a cheeky commonplace spread in here. Um, I found a really good article that's like introducing you to um, like the whole terminology and stuff and like the um, anatomy of a board. Um, and so I just copied that out. Um, it's this article, by the way, uh, Ultimate Beginner Skateboard Guide, Tips for Starting Out. Um, and that's on madgear.com. Um, so yeah, that's something that I'm looking into. Um, I'm gonna try to find a secondhand board with all the uh, specs that I want, but we'll see. My budget's really low, so I don't think I can get a new board, um, but yeah, I think this is the year. I think, I think this is the year for, uh, skateboarding, um, but yeah, 
Um, I think the last time I checked in with my notebook, I was making this spread for, for long legs, which I saw over the weekend. It really, a film review, it really was not what I was expecting. Like I was expecting like true horror with like jump scares and gore and like that kind of a film. It is not that. Um, it's a lot more atmospheric and I don't know very different from what I was expecting but I still really enjoyed it. Um, there were like a little bit of goofy moments but it wasn't one of the ones that like I laugh at. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, I am a big fan of the horror genre but I find it comical most of the time. Um, I don't find any of it realistic which is why I find it funny. Um, fun fact about me. <laughs> but yeah, so I did a spread on that and then I dyed my hair pink. Um, I go through phases of having like a little bit of pink in my hair and it's been absolute, it's been absolute. It's been literal years since I last had pink in my hair and so I thought I would bring it back and I'm so pleased with it. Um, and so yeah, that's about where we are. This is a coloring page spread this is a coloring oh my gosh words this is a coloring page that I did I didn't know where else to put it so I stuck it in here um and then yeah this is this is this notebook um I am just about halfway through which I really wasn't expecting like I thought I would only take up like a quarter of this book um but I'm trying to be a lot more relaxed about what I put in my life archive and so I'm just kind of putting everything in and I didn't realize that it would fill up quite this quickly. I reckon I can get to the end of August in this notebook and then I'll have to uh, make a new one. But yeah, that's my life archive. Um, I'm trying to think if there was something else I wanted to show you and I can't quite remember. Um, I am on volume five of my morning pages. It's I, it's something I'm still keeping up with. Um, I'm still not writing exactly three pages a day, but I am writing pretty much every day. I think I miss a couple days here and there, but for the most part, I'm in here every morning and it's been really helpful to clear my head and get a good idea of what I wanna do in the day. Um, because I'm still unemployed and it's stressful and it's boring um, but yeah um, in terms of what I was on about in my last uh, gloomy diary I'm still a little bit restless uh, but the Olympics are helping with that um, I think I just need something to do uh, the Olympics are helping and I did sign up for a dance class that I'm really excited to start in September. Um, I do have my uh, bachelor's degree in contemporary dance and I took about a year and a half off, um, but now I'm ready to get back into it. And so I'm excited to take this class and get moving again. And I think if I do end up finding a skateboard, I feel like that will be really helpful um, in terms of filling my time, filling my days with something. Um, but yeah, clay and ceramics have been really helpful also. Um, so yeah, that's been fun. Oh, I have been working on some sticker sheets. Um, so I have been working on some sticker sheets and this is page one of what I'm calling my mundane clutter. Um, yeah, I quite like this. Um, and then this is page two. I have one more design to do. Um, and these are going to be available as a printable on my shop in September. Um, I am actually doing a studio vlog. Um, I was going to do, um, July and August in one video, but looking at the footage that I have right now, I have kind of a lot so I think I'm gonna separate it um so that's about it if I have something to say later on in the week I will check in again but for now um that's it and um yeah I'll talk soon
curious about different things about Japan. I'll talk about something else about that. All right, hello again. I figured I would yap a bit here on a voiceover because I have so much footage. Like, like this is literally the, the longest Gloomy Diary episode that I think I've ever done, um, but that's okay. <laughs> I was just up to a lot this week, apparently. But yeah, right now I am making another trinket dish with some air dry clay because the moon one that I made, which I did end up painting, and spoiler alert, I did smudge it when I went to glaze it, uh, which is my bad. I think I didn't wait for the paint to fully dry before I went to do that, um, which is fine. It's whatever. Um, but that one is just a smidge too small. So I decided I would make another one. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing. But yeah, um, Green Day was so, so good. Like it was the best concert. No, I don't want to say that definitively, but it was like one of the best concerts I've ever been to. It was so good. I love rock music live. There's just something about feeling the bass in your chest that is so scrumptious to me. And also like the whole concept of concerts with like a whole bunch of people coming together just to enjoy music is so beautiful to me. I love it so much. Um, and they even said something like that uh, at some point within the show. They were like, take a look around you and just like take a moment to appreciate that we're all here for music and I was like you know what you get it man um but yeah um they they were phenomenal 
and the Smashing Pumpkins opened. I'm not t super familiar with their music, but they were really, really good. Um, and also Rancid, which I have never heard of before, and their music isn't totally my vibe, but they were also really good. Uh, so I had a really good time there. I'm so happy. I'm so happy with it. It was so wonderful. Um, and yeah, so that was that. Um, and okay, I have a skateboard update, which you probably would have seen, but I did buy one. Um, and I ended up buying a new one just because um, in the long term, it would end up being cheaper um, because I would have to like, I wouldn't have to buy a new one as quickly. Um, and I'm happier with, like, the design on it. Um, and I feel like that's really motivating. I have yet to do a full session. Um, like, an actual me being on the board outside with all my protective gear and everything. Um, I have yet to do that. Uh, I'm a bit nervous but I'm also quite excited. Um, but yeah, I'm happy that I chose to buy a new board. It was within my budget, which was really good. Um, so I'm, I'm glad I found one that I like and that should work fine enough. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I know I was talking about buying a secondhand one, but as I mentioned, it, in the long run is cheaper to just get a new board. Um, and I think it's like really good that I have a design that I like. Anyways, so I think that's all for my, my little update. Um, I am trying out some new music in this video, so let me know your thoughts on them, on, on the tracks. Um, I'm not 100% sold on them. I think I prefer just the regular piano that I'm used to and I'll just keep repeating tracks if if the videos end up being this long ever again but yeah Ugh. if I'm honest this video has been a nightmare to edit my computer is continuously and forever running out of storage and disk space and it's just a nightmare to download footage and actually edit it and uh, so lots of technical difficulties this week, but we're, we're pushing through. We're pushing through. I can't quite afford a new computer just yet, so it, it's going to happen eventually, uh, sometime soon, probably. Um, but yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to go now. Um, thank you for watching. There is still a little bit left, but... Yeah, thanks for spending your time with me and I'll talk soon.